Good morning, Warriors. Back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2, the morning talk. I apologize. I didn't get one done yesterday to you guys. Um, working this week, I'm not. Uh, they have spring vacation at one of the places I'm at. And so those kids are not in school for the high school. So I'm kind of working in the afternoon, uh, doing stuff around the yard. And I lost track of, <laughs> of time yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to do one. So we'll do one today. This morning, before I'm uh, waiting to go into one of the Menards in our area here, and going to go in there and uh, and try to get some wood and different things and, and mulch and things like that. So, um, But I wanted to do a, one of these before I forget today. Uh, so thank you again for all subscriptions, comments, likes. I'm trying to catch up with some of the comments. Uh, I appreciate I got one for a shove ham that I'm going to probably try to do tomorrow or over the weekend if I can. I'm still going to go back and try to get some time and do one on the Fountain of Youth as well. But I also want to kind of, um, there's one other one that I wanted to kind of focus on as well. I can't think of it at the time, but I'll get back to it and look at my list. Uh, today I'm going to focus on a great comment. I want to shout out to Lola. Uh, and I think the last name is Brini, B-R-I-N-I. So Lola, thank you so much. It's about three or four days ago that she made an outstanding comment. And she was talking about the fact that she believes that women are being taught the wrong things and that uh you know that a lot of times that women think that it's important to get career and money and even though that's important in one aspect of life that is not what draws men to them and they she was talking about the fact that um you know what they're looking for is women who are polite who are courteous, women who want to uh, do things with men and submissive in some ways, not a negative term, but submissive is, I think, a term she used as well. And also that, uh, you know, all her girlfriends, just to give an example, the fact that uh, they all have careers and, you know, they're doing well career-wise, but they're lonely. And uh, she's got a, a wonderful husband, I'm guessing, you know, and she's had wonderful kids, and that's wonderful. Uh, so uh, I think Lola is, is she, she's got the right idea. And I think that's the thing that unfortunately we've had in the society that's been all messed up. And I want to talk about Lola's comments because I think she hit him right in the head. And I appreciate Lola you making those comments and great success to you. You've done a great job, obviously, in being a, a, a wife and a housewife and doing tremendous things with your family. And that's wonderful. Guys, when you look at the whole picture of things, and I'm going to not talk about our journey a little bit as well, but talk about other things as well. We talk about the whole idea of life. You know, what's the purpose of what we're doing? And I think the purpose what we're doing is try to make the world a better place and also kind of have opportunities to give our generations time to make the world a better place as we go on. So we're trying to advance our society in a positive way. Now, that would seem pretty easy for most of us to comprehend and understand. But the problem we have with a lot of people is that there are evil people. People who do not want necessarily want that to happen. They want to have control and power. And the elites have always been doing this. They don't really want the world to get better. They may want to their world to get better. More money and more power and things like that. But they don't necessarily want the whole world to get better. And I think this is where you run into a lot of things that are created for temptation, control, those type of things. So we look at these comments that Lola made. And once again, outstanding comments. Outstanding um, Lola's really talking about the fact that in society, uh, and I think this is probably going back to when I was a kid, back in the late 60s, early 70s, um, there was a huge women's movement and liberation movement. And, and you know, I remember that song by Helen Reddy, I Am Woman. Uh, and it's a, you know, it's a good song. There's nothing wrong with the music. She's a, you know, was a great uh, artist. She is still, I think she's still alive, a great artist. But the idea that you're talking about is that you're, you're making the assumption that um, men and women have been treated badly all these years. And I think what you have to kind of look at is the idea of why things occur like they do. You know, everybody, every man who's been successful knows that they've had a a good wife, a woman behind them, who really, because they would do anything for that woman and wife, really have control over them, you know, in many regards. 
And so a good wife knows that. And, and I think that men live, I mean, most men, you know, yeah, there's power and control and things like that. But many, many men basically really want to make women happy. And so basically what they do, and a lot of wars have been fought over women, all these type of things. I think when you look at this, you realize that um, women should be different than men. And I say this because when we look at what she's talking about here, Lola, she's talking about the idea that um, men and women should compete with each other. And that has never really been the intention. There's purposes for men and there's purposes for women. Now, I, I realize that we have you know, craziness going on in society like we've had in, in past, you know, dynasties and ideas where, you know, the genders are crossed, a lot of discussion about that stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about basically men and women, biologically men and women. And there's different energy roles, different things that men and women do, and they should complement each other, as Lola's talking about, to have kids and to have a family so they can work together. And children, I, a lot of research indicates that they need both the mother and the father. And they need to have male energy and female energy. And there's two different purposes. Neither one is good or bad or better than the other. It's just that they complement each other. But if you have relationships in which women are competing with men and for the same types of things and, and these type of things, uh, then all of a sudden you have a, a, a problem with men and women getting along together. And so a lot of times what ends up happening is women tend to get lonely. And I think Lola is hit right in the head. I think that when you look at things, there's no, we're not saying anything about who better or worse. I mean, women and men, I mean, we're all human beings. We're all equal. But the idea is, is that we serve different roles and needs. And a lot, and women really are the nurturing type of force in our world. Men don't really have that type of nurturing force unless they're forced to do some. And they, some men can do that, of course. But the idea, guys, is that if you take, if you change the roles around to the point where now people are competing with each other, it's just not going to end up doing anything good. It's going to end up hurting people. People will be lonely, and you see a lot of people lonely out there right now. And so this goes back to our retention. Because once you're able to control yourself and you're able not to expend all your energy and you're able to focus on these type of things, then you're at a point where you're saying, okay, I, uh, I'm going to focus on other things than pictures and other things than uh, of just thinking about sex all the time. And so now I'm focusing on what are the other things that I need for life. And I want to have life where it's prosperous, but I'm also helping society. I'm also helping other people. And I'm trying to kind of, you know, push society forward to better a better society. And you're fighting against evil all the time. You're fighting against, you know, temptation, all these type of things. But the idea that you really have to kind of understand, and this is where I think women and men have been taught the wrong types of things, and you just have to understand that they're no better or worse. Now, is there people that are abusing people mentally out there? Of course. You know, and that happens. But that's not, to my mind, a male-female thing. That's more of the person. There's something wrong with that person who needs to have that level of control or abuse of other people. That's, you know, that's, that's unacceptable, no matter who it is. But this is a different thing we're talking about here. We're talking about men and women who need to, as for the raising of children, which is really a key role. I mean, if you're not thinking about raising children or not helping society better, then what is the purpose? I think there's some people out there that believe the purpose is just to make themselves happy and satisfied. I believe this is what they've been taught and this is what they see. And this goes back to what Lola's talking about then. If people are just interested in themselves and not interested in the bigger picture and not interested in, in creating life or to a further life, not everybody can have children, of course. There's no reason why they can't help other people throughout their whole life, whether it's working at churches, whether it's volunteering, clubs, whatever it might be. Those are the types of people that are helping the best way they can. And so when you look at what Lola is saying, which once again, I, I have utmost respect for Lola. Uh, thank you, Lola, for making those great comments. You, you have to kind of understand that we all play a role in this life. 
No one is better than anybody else, but we play a role. And that masculine female role is something that is needed because males have to feel like they're not in competition all the time with the females that they're with, all right? That they're working together and the males are doing certain things. That doesn't mean you can't shift roles sometimes. A female is making money, the male is watching the kids. That, that, that is all part of working together. But when all of a sudden now you've got people competing with each other and they're not taking care of those basic roles, then the child is hurt and the family is hurt. Once again, as Lola adroitly points out, the family is the most important thing you have. And whatever your family is, then that's what's, that is what you end up trying to promulgate and push forward and make better as you go on. Now, some people start off, you know, in tough families. I was part of one of the tough family as well when I was growing up. You know, there's some dysfunction in all families. But what you have to do is kind of realize that this is the building blocks of the next generation. So long after you're gone, and we will all be gone someday, right? Long after you're gone, you're now having the next generation put the blocks in of how to do things. And if you see people who are married for many, many years, like I did, then that's a good role model. And if you're married, like I've been for 30 years, and now hopefully I'm setting things up for my kids to have the same model. Now, is there a lot of pushback, of course, in the society that people want to have, you know, uh, careers and jobs, and they've been told, like Lola says, this is the way to go. You know, but it's very difficult to do both. Raising kids and being someone at home, raising kids, and also being the career. If you're lucky enough to have a career like that where you're writing in a home, doing things like that, that's wonderful. You know, I know someone like that, and that's wonderful. But that's a lot of stress still because you're still raising children home and trying to work at the same time. So I think the key is you have to kind of look at what's the final purpose. Are you there just for your own self? Which a lot of people are. And this is what ends up hurting people in the long run. They're very self-centered. They're not giving. They're really the takers. And societies start to crumble and fall when you have more takers than givers. And we're seeing that in this society here. Now, it can be reversed, but people have to understand that they have their, their success is dependent upon other people's success. And if you work with people, then except for the evil people you're going to run into, nine times out of ten, that's going to benefit you in the long run as well. So again, as Lola's talking about this, she's right on target. And once again, I am so appreciative of Lola uh, sending comments out there and uh, making those type of things. Because I think that, um, you know, there's this, this new age, whatever you want to call it, idea that, well, women don't need men, men don't need women, and all this type of stuff. And that's just so far from the truth. I mean, yeah, you can walk around like that and try to live your life like that. But that's why we have a lot of people who are taking pills and drugs and trying to go to sleep any way they can because what they're really down deep, the body is telling them, and I think God is in their body and their soul saying to them, this is all wrong. You know, you need to kind of figure out, you know, what you're here for. And your purpose obviously is here is to, to have children. If you can't have children, then you're, then you're working through trying to better society. And I would guarantee you that the loneliness would go away if people started thinking more of other people than of themselves. You know, when start, people start thinking about their own pleasures instead of other people's, then you, have a, then you have a society that becomes dysfunctional pretty fast. And I think this is the whole key to what Lola is saying. Lola, uh, smartly, and I, and, I, and I don't know if Lola had, you know, great, it sounds like she had great parents and, and great uh, role models to look at. But I think the key is that if she had those type of role models, she knows, unlike her girlfriends, that basically the, the key is, is going out and trying to find somebody that she can be compatible with, provide her skills, which are, you know, obviously, you know, one of the hardest jobs in the world, and that's taking care of kids and taking care of the home. That's, that's the hardest job I think there is, right? Doing that... And then having a husband 
who would also do those type of other things like making money and going out and working things like that. Right? It doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be in all cases, but someone has to do both. And I think that's the key. And I think Lola obviously was brought up in a, in a family that, that did that. So kudos to you, Lola. I think that um, I'm hoping that a lot more women see this and realize that the reason they're lonely is because they're basically kind of kind of looking more towards what they want to achieve, thinking this is what men want. And I think she hit it right in the head. Uh, men do not want to compete. Men want women who basically are going to be complementary to them. And they're not going to want one they fight with all the time, and they don't want that. And I think once you realize that, and your goal is to have a family and kids, now that's the thing. If you don't really want to do that, well, then you're going to probably be by yourself. And that may be okay for certain people. But there's a heck of a lot of people are lonely because of that. And so if you're looking at why people are lonely, a lot of it's because they're not givers and they're taking. They're trying to get the most pleasure, things they can. And this gets us back to our journey. You have to kind of forego your pleasure to be able to say, okay, I'm not going to do this any longer. And in the meantime, now you're going to find real relationships with people, not relationships with people and how they look and objects and, and how they are. All right, so again, great comment. Thank you, Lola. Uh, Shubham's got a great one as well. I'll get to that uh, probably tomorrow. But I appreciate uh, your time and effort, Lola, and getting it to me. And I wish uh, I admire that a great deal. I wish there were more women out out there like you. Uh, and please, uh, for those women who, who, who disagree, please comment. I'm happy to uh, kind of address that. But I think Lola's comment says, says it all right there. So... Guys, have a great day. This is April. I forgot the date. I think it's April 22nd, 2022. Have a great weekend. I'll try to make one this weekend if I can on Shub Ham stuff. Uh, if not, I'll talk to you guys Monday morning. God bless you guys and battle on.